raining again. <laughs> uh, beautiful for the land. Uh, makes it a little bit more awkward to work. But I'm here. I'm going to be sticking up this dome, geodesic dome for our chickens. We're going to put this geodesic dome on this area behind me. In here, we've. Uh, this is an area that we had some teepees in last year, but we planted some kiwis and some passion fruits, so we don't have space for the teepees. And yeah, it says it's getting colder, the river's getting much colder, so we're going to bring our chooks up here, and hopefully they'll be really happy up in this space, able to wander and roam on the hills and uh, have a nice, safe chicken coop. So I'm going to build this dome. We have all the pieces ready, and we'll see if it does what it says on the box. Uh, being able to build it in quite a short period of time. It's morning. We managed to get this up, dome up, um, just before it got dark last night. And uh, no, very pleased with it. Nice little three meter dome. We've set it on these plinths and I think it's gonna be perfect for our chickens. These build with hubs are very um, good. They're very simple to use, very simple to put together. I was a bit concerned that they might be too weak. Um, but actually, no, they've done very well. And the way they're done is super simple. I really especially like how the washer on the inside holds the balls in place. Just a note, if you're using these, that don't do the screws up tight before the dome is in its final placement. Uh, I started like I would with the other domes, putting them tight as they went up. And actually the shear force was in such a way that one of the actual screws holding the fittings in place broke. But all in all, very, very pleased with this setup. I'm sure the chickens are going to be happy with their new home, especially with the view. <laughs> 